Professor Silk, thanks for coming on Trinity. We're really excited to have you. Uh, Delighted to be here. Thank you. Um, maybe a little cheers. To start cheers. us off. Yeah. Our tea. Trinity. So three big moments in your life. The first time you were in the New York Times, the day you discovered you had a Wikipedia page, and today. Which which would you say is most important to you? Uh, um, coming on today. I mm -hmm. Without question. So I was a little bit dismayed. I'm from Chicago, okay. and I learned that you turned down the soccer scholarship to the University of Chicago to go to Harvard. That's true. Um, I think it was because I was embarrassed to get an athletic scholarship, mm -hmm. uh, especially at the University of Chicago, which ranks uh, sports so low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but what led you deciding to spend those years studying medieval history? Well, I sort of fell into it when I was an undergraduate and thought I wanted to do that with my life. And then, uh, sort of in the course of writing about some other things when I was in graduate school, I uh, thought that, well, I could, I could enjoy writing about other stuff um, that, um, that more people were interested in reading about. Uh, and, uh, you know, I didn't want to spend the rest of my life in the 12th century. Um, but now you're Trinity, and yep. you're the academic liaison for the squash team. That's correct. Which is one of the most dominant dynasties to ever have existed. Mm -hmm. um, so what's that been like for you? Oh, it's been a blast. Most of our uh, good squash players come from other countries. And, and so the idea of being a liaison with, with uh, students who, who really have a different kind of academic background to try to introduce them to a liberal arts education, and what college is like academically, uh, has been fun, and, and they're terrific and interesting, interesting uh, young men. As, as part of the job, do you get free sweatpants? Most recently, um, I got a uh, squash racket. After you got your PhD from Harvard, mm -hmm. you taught for a while, um, but, mm -hmm. then, but then you left to be, uh, become the editor of the Boston Review. Right. Was it the classic newspaper environment, like a lot of smoke, typewriter, clacking? I come to think of it, there was smoke. We hadn't banned smoke. Uh, which job that you've had do you think required the greatest caffeine consumption? Caffeine? Um, pro <laughs> uh, probably grading papers. Mm -hmm. uh, so today? Uh, uh, yeah, today. Mm -hmm. um, so I understand that you're into classical music, jazz music, mm -hmm. and you claim that you can play the flute. Well, I've been, I've been accused of that, mm -hmm. of claiming. Because sometimes I claim I can play the guitar when I'm talking to girls, stuff like that. Right, but it's not true. Well, I'm kind of wondering whether it's true for you. Well, you have to take my word for it. Mm -hmm. So, are you telling me that if I had a flute with me right now, you'd be able to play? Oh, I guess I've asserted that. Mm -hmm. um, do, do we have a flute? Oh. Uh-oh. Looks, looks like we're going to put you to the test. All right, well... Interesting uh, finger technique. Yeah, impressive. Uh. <laughs> so in addition to being musically inclined, you're mm -hmm. also the faculty parliamentarian. Do, do you wield a gavel? Uh, no, I don't. I just give advisory opinions. The uh, president wields the gavel. Are you most like any one Supreme Court justice? Um, yes. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I suppose I'm um, I'm probably most like uh, Sonia uh, Sotomayor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The resemblance, uncanny. Uh, I, I've always been told that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now's a segment that we call Questions from Our Facebook Fans. Trinity. On Facebook. 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 We don't have anyone? No. no, I don't okay. think we uh, have anyone. You maintain a very well-read blog, uh, Spiritual Politics. Yes, I do. Uh, did you grow up religious? Have you always been interested in religion? I, I've, I've always been interested in religion. So we've seen each other a lot around the campus. Is, right. there, any, is there any favorite spot that you have? I still like the long walk. It's hard, to, it's hard not to like it, uh, to walk along there. Do you ever go to Mather? Or it's a trek. I always find... 
cafeterias like that um, to be, you know, sort of too overwhelming. You know, I, I, I am a dinosaur and I come from an age when, you know, you got in the serving line and what they were serving that day was what you ate. They have, uh, they have Froyo now. Do they? Yeah. Well, then I'll definitely have to get over it, mm -hmm. I think. Professor Silk, thanks so much for joining us for tea. Um, really appreciate it. Oh, Cheers. I'm delighted to, to do this. Thank you. Trinity, Trinity, come chat over tea on Trinity. Was the cookie good? The one you had? The cookie was excellent. Satisfying. Satisfying.